Please enjoy your essential oil, girl. How you doing? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. What's up? No. Whenever they tell us how to do our videos, because everybody's out there now telling people how to do their videos if they're trying to sell online. And A, I'm flunking that class because I do everything wrong. But that's okay. There's a formula. Once you start watching for it, you'll see, you know, everybody does the same thing. So, apparently until I get on board with that, I won't be successful. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, that's okay. I'm just jumping on as me right now. That works, right? Anywho, we um, want to tell you about my experience at church today. Because it's Sunday. Sunday. Um, so, I had this, I don't know what, what caused it, and that's not true. I think it's just part of who I am. I got, I got where I'm. I tend to I tend to think things and and look, look, I keep my mouth shut a lot because some of the I'm so like God would not be happy with the way I think and I'll actually ask people you didn't hear what I said did you if I'm just thinking or sometimes I accidentally say something and I said oh you didn't I didn't mean to say that or whatever <coughs> um, anywho so we go into church today and I have my hearing aids in right. And the, whatever you call them, I know it's not the chorus or the choir, or maybe you call it the rock band, I don't know, the singers, the worship team, the, oh, excuse me, the worship team starts playing. And I immediately go on judgy, and this is why. And I'm thinking it all out in my head. First, the sound was awful. It was Awful. There was nothing balanced about it. Our our son-in-law actually used to do that at his church. He knows he's one of. The, it takes a special kind of knowledge to be able to make everybody sound without overwhelming the you know. So I'm thinking as I'm thinking through this, how could this happen? <laughs> how could this happen at church for this you know performance that they do once a week, three times or whatever. And it, it was really bothering me. And then I got to thinking, because the, the boards are set up in the back of the sanctuary. And anybody can walk up there. So I can see, and I know this isn't true, but I could see some kiddos that are there with their parents running in and out, running around, and not being supervised per se, and playing with those boards. I can 100%. That's the only thing I can figure because the sound was so bad that somebody went in there and just started doing the switches. So, and this was the first five minutes I was in church, guys. I was figuring out how could this possibly be this bad. Was it that bad, John? It wasn't great. <laughs> that means it was really bad. So I turned down my hearing aids. Because it was like all the sound was the same volume. So it was like, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, it was like a wet blanket. <laughs> no, maybe that's like a, I got an itchy nose, sorry. Um, it was just all, all the noise was the same level. You couldn't hear the singers over the musical instruments. And, you know, he, he sounded very unarticulate, which I know was not the case. But he sounded very muffled even anyway. First five minutes of church. And then I'm sitting there thinking, okay, Lisa, you're in church. What is going on? This is not what you should be thinking about when you're in church. You should be thinking about God and how grateful you are to be in this room. And lo and behold, I look down at some guy's walking down the aisle. He comes every year, every once in a while with his cowboy hat on. I've talked about this before. We have a lot of baseball caps going on in church, and it's not a sanctuary. It's not like the old southern churches that I grew up in in um, Georgia. This is literally a, what, a theater. It used to be a theater, and they remodeled it. So, in other words, it's a building. 
and um, but this guy wears this big old ten gallon white ish cowboy hat. Not a used, you know. I wear this for my work. This is I'm dressed up now. I have a white cowboy hat on, and he wears it to church, and he doesn't take it off in church. And I've talked about this before. It shouldn't bother me because my husband wears Crocs to church. But the hat thing really does bother me. <laughs> I just, it's, you know, and he's not a young man, so he's old enough to know better. I'm sorry. I'm being, again, I'm in church, and now we're down 10 minutes into church. They're singing their Lord Hawked out. The music is terrible. I've got my hearing aids all the way turned down so I don't have to listen to it so much. My brain is going bang, 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 bang all over the place. Little girl sat down in front of us that was just so excited because they, they let the, we did communion today and they let the little kids come in for the first half of church to listen to worship and stuff, which is cool. I like that. But she was so excited. She had this stuffed animal and she was just like, I was like, oh, I'm just stop, stop, stop. She was probably, I don't know, seven, maybe. So that distracted you. Something shiny, something shiny. And then, and then whenever the, oh, I'll tell you this in a minute. So, I'm in church, right? I'm very much believe in God. I know that we're here for a reason. I know that we're here to be, live our best life possible, and we should forgive and not judge. And and my brain the whole time is just judgy, 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 judgy. And I feel bad because I'm right there in church. It should be like a race when you walk in the door, right? So during the sermon. The, uh, the sermon was about prayer, and I love the I love the sermon. It was a great point. The, it was this. What was the prayer of John? I can't remember. Prayer of Jabez. 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 Jabez actually means pain. His mother named him Pain because she had pain while she was birthing him. That's rude. Anyway, that was what the sermon was about. And the preacher was talking, and he says, okay, show of hands, you know, if this is you, and show of hands if you've ever thought throughout the sermon. And there was this little girl. She must have been, I don't know, five, four. And every time he told, to, to, you know, raise your hand, it was just, you know, her little hand would shoot up all the way up. And say, her grandmother was like, it was so cute, y'all. But my, again, my brain, this is what I'm focusing on. I find myself a lot of times in church, especially during the singing, because the singing people, some of the singing people get just really animated. At which I go judgy, because I'm like, there's no way they're sober. You know, that's the kind of thing I do. I just like, there's no way I'm, they're sober, because they're just too dancey in church. You just, nobody can be that confident about dancing in church like that. I'm sorry. It's just, you've got to be high. <laughs> so, again, judgy. So, I find myself a lot of times just closing my eyes. If I close my eyes, and I think this probably happens to a lot of us, I'm going to go ADAD, ADHD, squirrely heads. I don't know what you call us. I, I didn't get a, a bona fide title when I was a child. But something shiny distracts me. I mean, just it, especially at church. And some days were worse than others. And today I was just terrible. I was just all over the place. But I did appreciate the fact that they talked about um, prayer. And the preacher mentioned that one of the one of, for new Christians um, that come into the church. That's one of their main questions: is how do I pray? And that's a, that's a solid, good question, and the answer is pray how you want to pray, basically. Um, because I think people make it into this, especially, especially I would think newer Christians. You know, after you, as you read the Bible and they some of the verbiage they use in the Bible, and you're like. I don't even know how to pronounce that. So they thouest and thousest and how do you say that in a prayer? Um, but yeah. So just 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 pray. <laughs> just, just 
pray. You can pray. You can pray for yourself. You can pray for your friends. You can pay for your security. You can pray for your church. You can pray for. I mean, it's not like a uh, Aladdin's lamp. You know, you don't make wishes, but don't make it hard. It's easy. Just start talking and listen. That's that's the thing I have trouble with. He also talked about, you know, how people meditate and and you know go off to just have quiet time and listen to the Lord. And I'm like, no, this this brain is not going to be up. To, even whenever I go to bed at night, I can't be quiet. I have to have something in my ears going as I go to sleep because I can't I can't just have the quiet. I know it's sad, but it is what it is. Anyway, I hope y'all were saying your prayers. And don't wear your cowboy hat at church, that's all I'm saying. I'm just asking, just don't. And I know I'm being judgy, so in my prayers, I'm going to be talking to God and say, please help me be better and do better. I don't want to be that way. I really should keep my mouth shut so y'all don't know that stuff goes on, but I can't be the only one. Right? You can't be the only one that just sits there and this, this judgy stuff goes on even while you're at church. <laughs> Including about myself. So, I mean, you know, look at look at the hair. I'm like, oh, that's... Somebody actually gets on and does a video with that kind of hair. That's okay. Whatever. Whatever. All right. So I got work done this weekend. I know y'all would be glad to hear because I, um, I, you know, there's some days that it just shut down, but I've been able to get a lot done. I've gotten files organized. I am all ready to add, ask some questions. I've got a bunch of emails done. Things are starting to make sense. Not, not all of it, not, but as my analogy from early on, I know some of you will remember and those that don't, it's okay. But I feel like I have literally been given uh, to the crawling stage. I've been birthed. I learned to roll over. And now I'm to the crawling stage. That's big. That's big. Now the interesting thing was they just did another academy, which is how, how you get started in this particular group that I'm in. And I started in September, and this is the third group that's gone through. So the third group of people will be coming in starting from scratch, like I did in September. And even listening to to some of their questions and stuff, I'm like, I get so smart. It's slowly starting to sink in. <laughs> but I was like, I'm not there anymore. I'm here. You know, so it's... it's been kind of a nice, nice, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not freaking out so much. I'm not freaking out so much. I kind of know what I'm trying to do. Not really, but more of it than I did. So just to update, we're all good. We are good. The through painting with our building, I know y'all been wondering about that. I think it took them a solid three weeks. Tom, was it three weeks? I think it was like three weeks. They were here a lot and they did a fabulous job. So if anybody in Cocoa Beach is looking to paint their condos and need a um, quote from somebody, reach out. Oh, I'm starting to do it. I'm talking too long. Um, I can give you a good, I, you know, I can recommend somebody because they did a fabulous job. I was very pleased. All right, I'll let y'all go before my ice cream melts all over myself. Well, it's pretty good, actually. Sugar free, don't worry. All right, kiddos. Y'all have a good night, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. And.